Alright guys, today we're going to do a quick and simple thing, uh, namely adding music tracks to your uh, record uh, record player in Amnesia, uh, the little thing that you find in the p-test folders, and uh, you can turn the crank and play a music file or voice clip or something like that, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So I have prepared a little example, and uh, I have the music file, the mp3 file, on my desktop as you might have noticed, and it should be played. Uh, when I turn this crank, although it's in OGG format. Um, but yeah, it's just a very quick little sample I got online. Alright, and it sounds just like that, and of course <laughs> that doesn't exactly fit to this thing, but that's just an example. You can find any music file and just play it off it. And um, it should also be acting as if you walk too far away from it, it will be faint. You can choose to do that if you'd like. Um, that depends uh, if you want it to be like that or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, the way I'm going to do it is going to be like that. Uh, and otherwise, um, after you've used it, you can't really use it again, so um, it'll get stuck. So if you wish, you can just disable the interaction altogether because you're not actually able to do anything, even if you do click it. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything about it. And now I guess we're going to jump over to the tutorial and sh see how to actually do this. Alright, so uh, now I am located in my uh, custom story folder uh, with all the files that you have for custom story, including the config, uh, background if you have one, extra English, and maps folder. And uh, just a note if you're using a Windows computer, you can still use this tutorial because it's the exact same, although it looks a bit different on a Mac, but uh, it should work the exact same. And also, if you're missing any of these files, you can download a template in my description. I'll have a download uh, listed there, so you can just grab them if you're missing any of the files, and if you have if you need to start off with, with something. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be assuming that you have an mp3 file that you are going to play in your level because that is completely up to you what you want. Um, so let's say you have this mp3 file. Uh, although it cannot be an mp3 file, it has to be in the OGG format. So uh, simply enough, if you don't have one, just Google mp3 to OGG like that. Or just follow the link in my description. I'll have linked audio um, online convert. So uh, all you have to do is just select the file right there, uh, you can just drag it if you wish, and uh, click convert, and that will simply enough convert your uh, mp3 file into an OGG file right away. It only takes a few seconds, or depending on how big the file size is of course. And uh, yeah, so uh, you should be able to download this uh, record music, or whatever you called it, .ogg instead of mp3, so it's a little different this time. and. Uh, if you don't have VLC media player, you can download that as well, uh, and uh, you can use it to play OGG files because I don't think most default uh, media players uh, support OGG. But anyways, uh, you just need uh, you don't really need to play it though. But you just need the OGG file, and um, let's create another folder within our custom story, and let's call it Sounds, just like that. And we're gonna put the uh, music inside there. Uh, we're going to need one more file though, and that is the SNT. If you have used uh, sound files before in scripting, you will recognize the SNT extension. Uh, it's the sound settings file, um, something something, uh, I, I don't know exactly what SNT is for, but uh, it's uh, the sound config or something like that. So uh, if you don't have one, you can create one using a blank text file and name it SNT, or you could go and fetch one from another one, which is probably the better option since you um, uh, if you copy it, it will have all the settings within already. So if you go back to your main Amnesia directory right here with all the uh, editors, launchers, folders, and files, uh, go into the uh, sounds folder right here. And you can pretty much just find it anywhere, it doesn't really matter where. Uh, let's just grab something simple. Let's go into um, player. Uh, here, like, uh, well, actually, these player have multiple files, so they're a bit of a bad example. Um, but let's go into gameplay. Um, yeah, so for example, gameplay acid web. Uh, it's just as pretty simple. Let's listen to it. All right, so that's the sound effect that is played when the uh, acid is put on the, uh, the web in the game. Uh, anyways, you just need to grab any of these SNT files and uh, just copy it. 
and uh, then you can go back to your your own custom story into sounds and paste it in right there. Now you want to rename it because we want our separate name and we want to name it you could name it the same as the OG it's not required but you can record player well uh, record uh, music for the phonograph and uh, it doesn't really need to be the same name uh, it, it can be if you have like yeah there's also an option for having like multiple sound files in the same SNT file so if you have like record music one two three and four then you can uh, have this called recordmusic.snt which includes all four of them and they could be played in a random order or something like that anyways after you copied it you want to open it uh, you might want to you might have to select an open with separate program and it should look something like this all right so it has sound entity sounds main uh, the only thing within main would be the sound file or several if you have and the thing within the quotes would be the name of the sound file so in my case record underscore music you do not need to put the extension OGG in this file though and also make sure that your uh, OGG file is I like unique in name to any other file in your um, amnesia directory because it could be finding the wrong one uh, so you you might want to name it something to make sure that it is um, that it is unique you might want to call it something like your initials to the custom story underscore something uh, that is uh, a good way to do it because then it's uh, highly likely that no one else has the same file si file name I mean so if for example if your custom story is just called custom story it would be CS underscore uh, that would uh, that would be an example of that but anyways, it's up to you to name it. Just make sure to name it something unique or else it might find the wrong one. If you have several files, you can copy this line and paste it directly below and just put the other name in the second source. And there are also some properties here that you can define. Uh, these include volume, distance, and uh, whether to loop or fade and such like that. You can define it as you wish. Uh, in this one, I'm going to make sure that it does not loop and that it does not fade because it's already like that in the mp3 file and you can change the volume uh, max and minimum distance uh, but any of these I'm just gonna keep them as they are because they look good uh, the random I believe is if you have multiple uh, sources you can put a random up to how many uh, I'm not exactly sure if you're gonna use random you can experiment with that one uh, interval I don't actually know what it is and priority uh, is similar to um, music priority, although uh, music priority uh, is a lot more strict because you can only have one music at the same time, one music track. But I believe in SoundCloud you can have up to eight uh, of these sounds playing at once, so I suppose it's the ones with the highest priority that are being played. Now, uh, you want to just save the file and close it so now we have it saved in this file and we have the OGG right next to it and we need to put the script inside the uh, map but first of all we will of course need to open the actual map so I'm just gonna quickly open it phonograph.map and uh, it looks like this I just have some fog in there because I have a void around it I don't know anyways uh, the only thing really in this map is the small point on the phonograph so I just want to select the phonograph and uh, if you go into entity, well, of course you want to give it a custom name, so just give it something like phonograph or whatever you want to name it. Just name it something that you can reference in the script. You can use the default one if you wish. Uh, go in the entity tab and within connection state change callback, you want to put some text. So for example, play record, I put that in there. And uh, that's going to be the, uh, the uh, this, this means that whenever you change uh, a state within this entity is going to execute the code that is within the play record block. So it's basically going to check for what state it is and do what it is told to do. Uh, otherwise you don't really need to mess anything with any of the other things but you can if you wish but that's the required one for this one. Uh, other than that you wanna go to the script file. If you don't have one you can copy one, make one or uh, yeah just create one uh, script file, uh, same name as the map.hps. I'm going to open it. And uh, basically what this one has is uh, 
the code that is required. I'm just going to delete it and write it over again. So let's say our script file is now empty. Yours probably won't be, but uh, just add this block anywhere in your code as long as it is outside all the other ones. So just type in void and the name of what you put in the editor. In my case, play record. That is what I put over there. And it's also, if you hover your mouse over it, it'll say uh, syntax void func quote no uh, parenthesis string and entity name int al state and those are the parentheses the parameters that you want to put inside the the I keep saying quotes the parentheses here so it said string and in as entity that is one of the quote one of the parameters uh, it looks slightly different if you want to just copy this you can find the exact same function on the engine scripts page that I will have linked in the description as well you can just copy paste it from there if you uh, control F this function it's called uh, change I think it's uh, add entity change co state connection state change callback I think it's something like that uh, anyways, the other one was int al state. So uh, if those are matching, they need to be matching, then uh, the matching uh, syntax, like as long as the name matches and the, the, the uh, parameters match, then it will recognize this block that you will put these squiggly brackets. And within here, you're going to put the uh, script that is actually ran when you turn the crank. So uh, first of all, we want to put an if statement. if parenthesis this is going to be the question and it's going to make sure that you turn the crank to the correct uh, the correct uh, way so if al state this is going to reference what it says in here so these two need to match you can edit these they don't need to be as entity and al state they can be pretty much anything just make sure that what you put inside these uh, this if statement is the same as the state int so if it says l-state there, it says l-state there, and that is going to reference to the current state in the entity being used to execute this uh, function. So if it was, for example, a lever that was executing this, it would be referencing the lever state. And if it was the phonograph, it would be referencing the phonograph uh, state. So after that, you want to put double equal signs because it's going to be comparing and making sure that it's the same on both sides, both, and put the number one and one means the the other side so uh, the other side of the phonograph would be one in this case and after that you want to put the uh, another set of squiggly brackets and within here is actually going to be uh, executed the play sound script so uh, this one has quite a few parameters so i'm going to go on the engine scripts page because i have it <laughs> bookmarked so i'm just going to command f and find play sound uh, it'll be the function we want to use is called play sound at entity and you want to copy all of these uh, except the void at the beginning you don't want to copy that and you want to paste that in within the if statement it's kind of long because it has these parameters so just make sure that the name of your function matches and then we can define everything within the quotes or within the uh, parentheses I keep saying quotes anyways the first one is string sound name and uh, every string has quotes around them unless they reference another string but so put quotes around that and backspace and just uh, put well this one doesn't exactly need one you can put a name of it this is the internal name of the sound so uh, you don't actually need it uh, you can leave it out unless you know what to do with it if you don't know what to do with it you don't really need it uh, it's only there if you need to stop or remove this sound while it's playing and um, you need the internal name to reference it or else the system won't know what to actually reference and the second one is another string and inside here you want to put the file that is going to play the sound in our case record underscore music dot snt and uh, the snt is the sound setting file that is actually playing the sound and the sound setting file is actually executed through the script this is the third one is another string this is the entity it's being played on and um, if you wish this to be played on the phonograph itself uh, you can just put as entity and that will similar to the state it will reference the entity that is currently being used to execute this block so as entity is going to reference this it needs to be the same as this one it doesn't need to be as entity but it 
uh, it needs to be the same so it'll reference the phonograph if you don't want to do it this way you can put quotes phonograph or the same name the next one is float fade time uh, this one is just a number so uh, I'm going to put zero because uh, it's not exactly gonna fade any sounds and uh, because that is already done in the actual uh, audio file and the last one is spool save sound and this is uh, kinda tricky uh, to explain uh, but it's more like if it stopped it will resume from where it was I believe uh, but uh, if you're not gonna if you don't plan on stopping it you don't really need to worry about it so I'm just gonna put it to false since it's a boolean it's only true or false and uh, that should be all the script you need for this particular event so you can just save this file and let's start up amnesia again and give it a test run to see <laughs> make sure everything is running fine that I didn't miss out on anything although this is a fairly short thing so I don't think I missed out on anything we're back in the level here is the phonograph just turn the crank and it'll be playing the sound file that we made from the OGD and uh, that is pretty much it and um, yeah uh, this particular sound file is actually a little sample from uh, Simgretna or Simgretina uh, that uh, yeah I'm a he allows people to use their music anyways uh, props to him he makes great music anyways um, so uh, that should be everything for this video um, yeah hopefully it was shorter than most of my videos it's um, I usually tend to keep them way too long than they need to be uh, but anyways uh, that should be everything I will thank you for watching and I will see you later